Hey guys, welcome back to the Love of Asia. Thank you so much for hitting that button and coming to check out this new video. As you can tell by the title, I'm bringing a simple sleigh look that I've created um, using some of my favorite makeup brands and products. Right here, I am just moisturizing and priming the face with the Pore Professional Pore Primer from Benefit Cosmetics. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm going to go in next with my No Pore Blum Prime Essence from Touch and Soul just to add a little glow to my skin. Next we are going to use the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss and this is in the color Champagne Glam. And we are just going to moisturize and get the lips prepared for this look. Right here, I'm just prepping my brows and brushing them up with my spoolie. I have the Retractable Duo from Wet n Wild. It's a filler on one side and a spoolie on the other side. So we're just going to get these brows ready. I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Concealer in Amber to clean up the brows. Brows has always been my struggle point. And um, yeah, for those who have been with me for a while, you guys know I've come a long way. Now I'm going to go back in with my Remo London Concealer and I'm just, I just like to highlight before I uh, do my foundation so I'm going to color correct with the Black Radiance and Orange and color correct underneath my baggy eyes with my Remo London and we're going to blend that out. I also use my Wander Beauty Spray so that it's easy to blend. Now I'm just priming the lids, still using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Concealer. I'm going to use the Watch Me Blush Palette from the Crayon Case Collection. I've only used this probably like twice my whole time having it. So yeah, I'm going to go in with the Tangerine Orange as my transitional color. So I'm just going to pack it up into that corner crease and I'm just going to blend it up. So I am going back in with that retractable from Wet n Wild to touch up my brows. They are needing some work. And I'm going to use the berries from the Watch Me Blush palette. And I'm going to put that into my corners and try to blend that as seamless as I can. It's a process. Now going on to the lids with that color Outsider. Didn't know where exactly where I was going with this look, so I just kind of went with the flow. Haven't really touched that blue since New Year's lit sleigh look, so I was really interested to see what I can create. So now using my Juvia's Place I Am Magic in the color Tanzana as my foundation. Again, spraying with the Wander Beauty. I am using an Alamar brush. And I believe this is the buffer brush. I usually don't use this for my foundation. As you can see, I'm like looking around for my other brush. <laughs> so 
so I love to go in with two layers when I'm trying to uh, make sure I get a full coverage look um, so yeah this here is the second layer here I did go a little bit heavy-handed with the foundation it's which is why it looks so deep but I am going to take my time and blend that baby out so now I'm going in with my Milani Conceal Imperfect Long Wear Concealer. This color is in light natural. Please don't cover me in the comments. I know I don't know what possessed me to go with such a light color but again we are going to blend this baby out and hopefully mm, it works my model is always practice makes perfect and just to you know a little disclaimer I do not say to do or follow any of these steps that I am doing because I am an active learner and I'm constantly practicing and I'm constantly trying to get better so yeah practice makes perfect and we're gonna blend this baby out I'm going around that concealer with my elf cosmetics finishing powder just to set in that foundation I sprayed with my wander beauty and now we're going to blend the concealer one thing I do want to say is I absolutely love Milani their foundation their concealers their lip liners like that brand is amazing that concealer blended so seamlessly here I am using my Ciate London coconut setting powder to set in that concealer and I'm just cutting the face actually from Smashbox but I'll leave it in the description I'll go check my my little stash and see which liner that is and I'm just dusting off that powder using the elf cosmetics bronzing palette and I'm just bronzing the face using that to help contour now with the Too Faced Diamond Glow, I believe that is. Nope, the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. Now the Morphe and Jeffree Set and Spray, blending it with a disposable blendy. Now going in with the Saharian Volume 2 Blush Palette from Juvia's Place. And I'm using that orange in there just to touch up the cheeks and the nose. And now in with Fenty Beauty Highlights. It's so gl glittery. Just touching up those areas. Bring in the shine in. Absolutely not sure which palette that is. But I got that for my birthday from my daughter. Um, it's the 2X the base shadow palette and i just use one of their greens in here to under to use for uh the eyelids that actually was a birthday gift from my baby i went back in and sprayed and touching up now using my mascara and this mascara is from Dolce. it's the punk volumizer mascara i'll drop it down below it's spelled d-o-u-c-c-e 
Now line in the lips with a black line. And I'm going to use my Fenty Gloss Balm. And here is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. I really enjoy creating this look here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend and come again. Peace, love, I was and really blessings myself right to you all. Do not forget to subscribe, guys. Turn on that post notification bell so you will not miss another upload from my.